Hey guys, welcome back to the Salty Strikes Fishing Channel. And today we are continuing on with our Stay Salty series. This is a series that um, I kind of started because I get a lot of questions on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube comments, and I get a lot of the same questions over and over again. And I'm trying to answer those in video form so that when I get them more, I can just send them to you guys and you'll have them and hopefully it'll help everybody out. So one of the questions I get over and over again is how do I catch my own bait? So today we are gonna go over how I catch bait. And uh, we're gonna look at what gear you need, how to catch them, and where to find them. Those are the three things. So we're gonna go over that real quick. Hopefully this will help you out. So stay tuned for that. Okay, we're gonna talk gear. A good set of polarized glasses. I use these Costas. I like the blue lenses. You can get like the greens and stuff for different, you know, tint color of water and stuff like that. I just like the blue for all around. And you know, I just wear these all the time and they seem to work pretty great. You know, a lot of people like the green ones for like inshore cause it's supposed to, you know, be able to see better in like the, you know, murkier water and the blues are supposed to be better for like offshore, but I think the blues work pretty good inshore and offshore. So, uh, you know, there's these are a little expensive. There are cheaper brands out there, but I like these, so I'm sticking with them. I have two kinds of cast net. I have an eight foot, it's a little heavier, three eighths mesh, which, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put right up here so you can see it. And I'll have a link below, uh, cause I know somebody's gonna ask, in the description of where you can buy it on Amazon. And this is the one I keep on the boat that I throw and deeper water where you need a little bit heavier net and you can go bigger. Um, I just like to keep something a little manageable on my boat because a lot of times it's, uh, I just kind of pick it up and go. Um, you know, even when I'm not looking for, I see bait around, I just kind of grab it and uh, go after them. This net right here, the eight foot net, is the one I use for like deeper water. Anything probably deeper than like waist deep. And then I have another cast net, I'll put a link up here uh, that it's only like a seven foot net. It's a little lighter. It's a lot easier to throw, but I only use that in shallower waters, basically uh, knee deep or less, pretty much less, less than waist deep. Like if I'm throwing from the boat and I think it's less than waist deep, waist deep I'll, I'll throw that one, but mostly it's like real shallow. So those are the two types of net I have. They're both three eighths. Um, I kind of wish that I would have got the quarter inch for the, the seven foot for like the smaller fish, uh, but it really, works pretty well when I'm walking around trying to get mullet and stuff like that and the really shallow areas. Those are the nets I use. You know, they're linked below if you wanna get one. I'm not gonna go over technique in this video because I've already done that in another video. And um, I'm gonna link it at the end of this video if you haven't seen that one yet. I, it shows you how to throw a cat, how I throw a cast net and why I throw it the way I do. I don't stick it in my mouth. I don't throw it over my shoulder. Um, if you wanna see how that's done, just wait till the end of this video and then you can click on that and uh, learn how to do that. But we're going to get back to basically, you know, where the bait at, how to find them, how to catch them. So how to catch them. What I'm looking for is in the water, you'll see a lot of times like little shimmers or uh, you, you see something shiny um, or like ripples in the, in the surface. Usually that's little bait fish. Sometimes you'll see like little bubbles um, moving along. And uh, especially if you see like bubbles and, and the bubbles are moving, like little tiny bubbles come to the surface, that means there's probably bait fish down there. And so that's what I throw out. I don't blind, I, I don't just blind throw. I only throw unless I believe there's bait there. I don't just wander around just randomly. I think this is a good area and throw. Unless I'm pretty sure that there's bait in there, I don't throw it because it, it'll wear yourself out just chucking net over and over and over again. So. I would just try to avoid doing that. Make sure you, you're pretty sure you have some, some kind of fish sign there before you throw the net. You know, use your fish finder. I use my side scan. Like if I'm going close to a bridge or something and I'll watch my side scan. If I see like a kind of a big blob, I'm like, I know that's bait. And uh, so I may just throw it there. And uh, you know, most of the time, you know, I get a few, sometimes not, uh, you know, around bridges and sometimes it's easier to use as a beaky rig, but I'm really gonna just kind of cover cast nets. So, uh, you know, don't just blind throw, make sure you're, make sure you find, you know, the, you think you, you're pretty sure you believe the fish are there before you throw, cause you're just going to wear yourself out if you don't. So there's three, basically three ways you can do this. Uh, like if you're by yourself, 
you know, I have a trolling motor that makes it a lot easier. You can just put an anchor if you if you get close to them or something like that, uh, and then you just throw it at them. But it's also really helpful if you have a two person. If you're on a boat, a two person, somebody driving and you like up on the front and you can kind of drive around and follow on because like most of the time, like they're on the move and you may have to just kind of track them down a little bit. Um, so you're going to have to kind of move with them. You know, I like when I'm working with Kim, she's on, she's driving the boat and basically I'll just have the net and I'll just kind of point the direction that I, you know, I need her to go or, and I'll just tell her to slow down, speed up or whatever. When we get close, uh, she sees me chuck it. She immediately puts it in reverse after it starts to sink. You don't want to do it before it sinks because it'll scare them. But as soon as it starts to sink, so you don't run over your net. Uh, but that's how we do that. All right, guys. So one more technique I like to use is just, uh, you know, if you can't go to them, you try to get them to come to you. So check this out. Okay, basically what we got is uh, some bait chum. And it's, it's basically just sand and kind of chum mixed up together. And what you want to do is you just want to get a very little bit of water in a bucket, put a little bit of sand, make it like a, a snowball. You chuck the snowball you know, a little bit behind you, a couple of them, and uh, just kind of let it percolate for a few minutes and let the fish come to it. And then you just throw the net right on top of it. So we'll get going. Don't need much. Okay, that should be good. All right, just chuck it right back there. Just spread about three out that way. Just make them about baseball size. And one of the things about the this kind of chum too is it helps clouds up the water just a little bit. You know, they don't see that net coming when you I mean, chuck it on top of them. And you know, this doesn't work real great when there's a strong current because it just wash away. So either in slack tide or places where there's not that much current, it's probably the best place to use this. Now in the prettiest throw, but hopefully it'll get the job done. Got like four. Oh, got some little pilchards. Love those things. Little greenbacks. Yeah, that'll probably be enough. So you chum up the water, and this really only works uh, with water that's moving either very slow or almost not at all, like slack tide or something like that. But uh, it works great at docks, especially if it's um, there's not a lot of current. Now we're going to talk about where we're going to find them. A lot of bait fish like to hide somewhere where they can find. Uh, some structure to hide in. You'll find them a lot along mangrove uh, shorelines and anywhere that, like there's like really shallow water that meets deeper water, they'll run up and hide in this really shallow water that the, the bigger fish won't go to. Uh, so that's always a good place to look. A lot of times like I will go park my boat and where it's like pretty shallow, hop out and walk around and uh, chuck my cast net uh, around there. And like around those mangroves, um, where it's real shallow like that, you got to be real careful. There's a lot of oyster beds usually hanging around those areas and your net can easily get tangled up in them and it'll rip them. So just be careful. Like if you throw once and you start getting snagged up, maybe not throw in that area again. That's why I, I don't really buy kind of like expensive nets because uh, that happens you know, quite a bit. You can get tangled up in those things and it rips them up and like, you know, you rip a big hole in it and if you got a $200 net, you know that's kind of a waste so I try to go on a little bit cheaper end um, and I try not to throw too close where you kind of know uh, where there's oyster beds so just be careful around the oyster beds but there's a lot of bait fish around there usually um, anywhere around like like little islands and uh, cuts those are going to be more places you're going to want to look um, if you're an early fisherman, a good place to look is around like the bid bridges where there's uh, like the fenders where they have like a light that shines down. Often there'll be fish down there too. So a lot of times I 
don't go searching there, but like I'll go fish there in the mornings and I'll just kind of keep an eye out. And if I do see bait, I'll throw my net out and grab some. Or like dock lights, if you're, if you're somewhere where uh, you're going like the intercoastal and you see dock lights, just swim kind of close by. See if you see those little shimmers in there or water movement. And uh, you know, get, if you get close enough and you got the side scan, you just kind of drive by, do a drive by and uh, check out your side scan. If you see a bunch of little, little fish in there, then that's probably bait fish and that's where you're gonna wanna throw it. Uh, that pretty much sums up the things that I look for when I'm trying to find bait and where I find them. I hope this kind of helps you out you know, here's a, a link to the video of how to throw a cast net. But I hope this is helpful. And uh, thank you all for subscribing and coming along. Hit that, you know, notification bell, all that jazz. Thumbs up, we're greatly appreciated. And until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.